has a little use in the body of Christ. When the Holy Ghost go to pouring out, all gifts are laid aside. Because it's saying, fill me up too. Give me my portion too. Give me another dip too. Revive me too. Restore me too. Open up and tell him yes, Lord. Clap those hands and tell him yes. Open your heart and tell him yes. Oh, I feel this. He's coming in. He's coming in. Keep telling them yes. That cloud in the oh, bah, 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 bah. He's making his way. What did he say in the word? Yes, come and on. Yes. Truly, and truly. Our fellowship is with the Father. Our fellowship is with the Father. And with his Son, and Jesus Christ. And with his Christ. Son, Jesus Christ. Come on. And these things write me. And these things write, yes. Write we unto you. Uh-huh. That your joy may be full. He said, I want your joy to be full. So all of those apostles that went through what they did, they said, hold on, I want your joy to be full. That if we did it, you can do it too. If we came through it, you can come through it too. What did he say? Yes. This then is the message. This then is the message. Come on. Which we have heard of him. That we heard of him. Uh, and declare it unto you. And we declare it unto you. Come on. That God is God light. is nothing but light. God is nothing but light. Not a dim one either. Ain't no dimmer on the Holy Ghost. Oh, God is light. And what he say, sister? And in him. And in him. Is no darkness is at no all. Is no darkness at all. You know we got a lot of cleaning up to do. I thought about them men coming out of that mine. And how they had been in that darkness for 69 days. And as they was bringing them up, they had to wear special shades because they had been in darkness for so long. Their eyes couldn't take that much light. And the Lord said, you know that's what's happening to the souls. He said, when you keep on, he said, brace yourself. Now, brace yourself. If we really going to walk in this truth and light, then our messages are going to get harder and harder. When all we saying is, that ain't it. We're just trying to bring you to the light. He said, but see, some of these souls is in so much darkness. They can't take all that light at one time. So it's almost like they got to come to the house of God with shades on because you're preaching too much truth. He said, in me, ain't no sort of like candlelight and struggle, all this carnal, low, hellish messages. We know we have weaknesses, but that weakness ain't supposed to stay in you once you come into the light. He said, as many as he has called, to them gave he power to become sons of God. Ain't a demon of darkness out. I ain't got power to whip in the Holy Ghost. I need y'all to act like you know what I'm saying. There's not a demon of darkness out that if God has given me the light, I don't have power to whip him back to the hell he came from. Now let's get ready and walk in our vocation. 
Let's get ready to walk in our vocation. Let's get ready to walk in our vocation. Let's get ready to walk in our vocation. Let's get ready. Let's get ready and walk. Acts 2 and 1. Herein lies in these end times. This world is not crazy. And then the very one that could be hindering you and after you the most could be the one that's a sheep. And they just want to know, are you the real thing? The world is starving and desperate for somebody to tell them the truth. And they've been around enough and have done enough hard stuff to say, don't worry about hurting my feelings. Let me worry about my feelings. Tell me the truth. And don't leave me out here like I'm a fool. And you knew how I could come out and come into the light. I don't want to be crazy, but ain't nobody showing me a light to come out of being crazy. Acts 2 and 1, grab your brothers and sisters by the hand. Acts 2 and 1, we get ready to pray. What did he say in the word? And when the day of Pentecost. And when that day. Now that's the conference I want. And that's the one God want to have tonight. He said, give me a little minute. He said, when the day of Pentecost, come on, yes. Was fully come. Now you got to remember, it wasn't no packed out church. It was only 120 people. It was just some folk. Give me out to it, give me out to it. It was just some folk. See, he only told some folk to meet him in the upper room. Put it right there for me. He didn't tell the multitude. He only told some folk, just 120, meet him in the upper room. He said, because each and every one of them gonna have something in common. I'm gonna give them an experience with me. And just this group is going to know what it is to be in my presence, in a fellowship. Now, out of the however many we have tonight, is some that really believe I'm going to get in a fellowship with him tonight. And what did he say in the word? Yes. And when the day of Pentecost. And when the day of Pentecost. Was fully come. When it was fully come, they prayed for 50 days. Now, it may have started out, you know, had this crew over here, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. You had this one, oh, I love you, Jesus, praise God, I love you, Lord. You had this heart, so it may have taken a minute for them all to get one mind and one heart. Where am I crying? Oh, Jesus. He said, listen, ain't no sense in you saying what you're saying. Let's just call on Jesus. Someone's saying, Jesus, Jesus. You know, they like to throw off at the old saints when we get filled with the Holy Ghost and the Terry servant, they would say, say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. They like to throw off and say, Gary, they were saying all that, but, but you know what I found out why they did that? This is just my own explanation. See, cause tell you the truth, when most folk come to the altar, the devil talking to you while you're at the altar. <laughs> all in your mind and what you doing up here, you ain't gonna get delivered or nothing. You know, you're gonna go back the same. But they had a method. They understood if you keep calling on Jesus. And don't give that devil space to say nothing. So just say it. Jesus, 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 You would say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. I believe the Bible said, at the name of Jesus. So he said, in that day. He said, they, when the day was fully come, what happened in the word? Yes. They were all with one accord. They were all with one accord. Wasn't nobody thinking nothing different but Jesus. Nobody was saying nothing different but Jesus. What did he say? Yes. With one accord in one place. With one accord in one place. And suddenly. And suddenly. And that's just how you would get filled with the Holy Ghost. Before you, who, 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 I just raise your hand if y'all know what I'm talking about. Before you know it, you say, G, 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 G. and they will say, that's it, that's it. Hold on to it, baby. Hold on to it, baby. And you will go home, still say, you will go to sleep, saying, 
And they said, what happened to you? And you were trying to say, I got 50. Put the whole. He said, all of a sudden. That means when you least expect it will be your day of visitation. All of a sudden, when you least expect it, that that you've been struggling with for years, all of a sudden, you'll be out of it. Again, I think about those men and those men, and I said, just imagine, 69 days. They said, at first, everybody said, just give up. They did. Ain't no sense in searching for them. They're dead. But the family member said, oh, no, they're not dead. They went to the president and said, I want you to do something to make sure that they're dead. And all of a sudden, they heard a little sound. They said, just a little sound. Let them know they were alive. Now, I don't know what it was like to hear the drilling and wondering, are we really going to get out of this? They were in a dark pit, 2,300 feet underground, 69 days. Don't know whether you're going to live or die, but all of a sudden, they made this invention to go down 23 feet and pull them up in a capsule. And all of a sudden, the man that 20 minutes ago, I was down in a hole and 20 minutes later, I'm up in the light. Surely God got a deliverance to go deep in your life and go as low as he got to go. And all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, pull you out. Open up and tell God yes. Clap those hands and tell him yes. Come on, come on, get ready. Elevate and get ready. Elevate and get ready. Elevate and get ready. I'm gonna need y'all to help me pray. Elevate and get ready. Elevate and just go to tell them yes. Elevate and get ready. My suddenly is coming tonight. My suddenly is coming tonight. My suddenly is coming tonight.